So here's the flim device uh, wired up now and hanging from a steel uh, ruler. Uh, it's being held on there by the magnetic attraction and if I take this lead here and just touch it to the positive terminal of the battery very quickly it drops off. Okay. Let's do that again for you. It's on the steel wall and touch the positive terminal of the battery. And there we are, it drops off. Okay, what's that telling us? It's telling us that the magnetic attraction here at these points here has been turned off very very briefly just by touching it gently to the battery. Now there is some force here. I've, uh, things that I've done to this since we last looked at it is I've added a steel keeper onto one side of it and that really takes some removing. There we are. You can't actually successfully pull it straight off, you have to slide it off. And there's the device. And you can see that I've actually permanently wired it and you'll note that here the top is wired to the top and the bottom is wired to the bottom. Now the uh, magnetic field that's created is uh, related to the, or the, whether this is a north or a south, is related to the, um, the way the coil is actually wound. I didn't know which way it was round, wound, so a little bit of testing soon found out that this is the way to solder these connections together. Now it's actually wired in parallel, so these two leads here that come off for the battery connection, going to the plus and the minus, it's soldered in here and here. So if the battery leads solder here and here, and then these link up directly there and directly there. And that seemed to work for me. If your coils are wound a different way, or you've got them swapped around, then you're going to need to cross solder them across there and there. Again, some crocodile clips and some care, and a little bit of experimentation will tell you which way around you need to wire the thing. Okay, so that's it all wired up. The only other thing I can say that I did was to saw off a piece of flat iron bar that I've got and use that as a keeper. And as you can see, that's pretty firmly on there. There we go. And that puts that bugger on. Okay, that's it. That's the flim device all working. Now, uh, that's a bit of a, a prototype, so it's a, a one-shot method. Just touch the battery, it drops off. Very interesting. What we need to do with it really is something a bit more interesting, so what I'm going to do is create a timing circuit and use that timing circuit to uh, fluctuate the pulses here, the magnetic pulses here, off and on uh, very rapidly, and that will be the next test.